Well, today and beyond the dream, we look at the impact King's dream and life still has on the world. Today, I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about turning setbacks into comebacks with an attitude of excellence. Top motivational speaker and radio talk show host Willie Jolly says he has followed the example of Dr. King. Jolly says he is amazed to see the positive changes King helped to make based on a dream. What would happen if we hadn't had a Benjamin Mays to pour into a Martin Luther King Jr. as a 15-year-old student? And what would have happened if Martin Luther King hadn't stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and said, I have a dream? Not I have a wish, you know, I didn't have a positive, just nice feeling. I have a dream. You got to have a dream. It's not a nicety. It's a necessity. And beyond the dream, Bishop T.D. Jakes points out that Dr. King was concerned about the soul of America. He believes it's important to follow Dr. King's example of love and forgiveness in order to heal the wounds of racism, the scars of the past, and even a divided nation. Look at Dr. King or countless others of that ilk who have done extraordinary feats because they conserve their energy for its highest and best use. For the individual who's watching, doing things that are good for you, good for your children, good for your relationship. Sometimes you have to recognize that forgiveness is the best path to take for long-term success. And Jake says forgiveness is a high ideal. Martin Luther King focused on that ideal, realizing that it would pave the way to reconciliation and nullify retaliation. King once said, in fact, the time is always right to do what is right. And that's a look at today's Beyond the Dream.